Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome back to the Whiskey Cove. Well, on today's episode, we asked the question, which distilleries do the best Stopex? Run the video. Alrighty then folks, thank you for joining us for another new and exciting episode of the Whiskey Cove. Where we will be answering the question, hopefully, which distilleries do the best store picks. So I've picked out two, four, six, eight single barrel picks here. Uh, but we're talking about who consistently knock out some of the best single barrel picks year after year, release after release. Yes, I could have included uh, all of these could have been allocated items. I wanted to get a little bit of balance between some allocated, some not so allocated. For you folks at home to really get tangible information to go out and make a good purchase with your hard earned money based upon the information that you are given in this video. So like I said, eight bottles to go through that represent the distilleries and some of the awesome single barrels that they keep knocking out all the time. If you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button, knock the bell button as well so you get updates constantly and comment down below if I've missed any. Uh, yes, we're only doing eight, but this is eight that I have experienced that I really, really like. With that being said, let's do bottle number one. This is actually the only bottle I don't have on this list, but we have the bottle that represents the distillery and that is Knob Creek. The Knob Creek single barrel picks are some of the best value for money that you can get in the bourbon industry, if you ask me. You get the high ABV, 60% ABV or 120 proof. You get a lot of age with that as well. I've seen like 11, 12 year age statements. And you can get them as cheap as $40. Don't take my word for it. We were down in a Costco down in New Mexico um, two months ago. Uh, with one was on a shelf, $39.99. Yes, it is at a Costco, but you, you can get them. This is 2024 where whiskey bourbon prices are supposed to be sky high. And you can get a $40, 11 year, 120 proof bourbon single barrel pick. Pretty damn good value for money. And all the single barrels that I've tried, we killed two last year. I've had many before that as well. They've all been pretty incredible. They keep coming back with these great single barrel releases. You'll probably hear me say that a lot about some of the whiskey that are on this list here today, but they really do not knock it out of the park. And if I had to pick one whiskey from this list that people can sometimes overlook, I would say it's Knob Creek because people have a tendency to maybe to lean more to like Little Book or to Booker's. This costs double and triple the amount sometimes, but they forget about the Knob Creeks and it's, it's, it's very similar stuff, if not better, if you ask me, because that has that more age with it as well. So if you're someone who's sleeping on these Knob Creek picks, don't, uh, it, it's worth your money, trust me. That is Knob Creek single barrel picks. And next up, and uh, one that should pretty much be a bit of a no-brainer for uh, Whiskey Cove loyalists, and that is the Russell's Reserve single barrel picks. So this one is from Argonaut in Denver. This is an eight-year pick. Uh, CN-E, Cam Nelson E, floor four. So this, I think I paid, fortunately for me, Argonauts in Denver was selling these at $69.99. I know in places like Total Wine, the price of these is gonna have to like $90, and that's unfortunate to hear, because I do think that's, that's a bit too mo much more than what it should be. However, if we're talking about the juicer in the whiskey, the juice that's in the bottle, they do, these are incredible. I've never seen any of these single barrels less than eight years old, but I have seen I want to say I've seen a 13 year one before. We definitely had had 11 year down in the whiskey cove. I might even had a, a 12 year stashed away there for a rainy day because I do really like these guys. But the variance you get, you get a lot of variance between the different picks. However, they're all pretty special bottles. And like every single one of these single barrel picks that I've ever had has just been consistently excellent time and time again. They used to be around $50, but uh, while Turkey's prices in 2023, 2024 have kind of gone up by 25%. So this has definitely fallen in line with that pricey increase. However, if you're still able to get it for $69.99, excellent value for money. Maybe for an 11 out of 12 year, I might go up to $80, $85. Uh, so if you do see one of those, definitely pick that up. But I feel like since that they've been released the 13 year, uh, Russell's Bourbon, you've, I've stopped seeing the higher aged ones because they might've just kept some of those barrels aging a little bit longer. However, Russell's knock out some of the best single barrels that there is in Bourbon. Deviating a little bit from Bourbon, we are gonna go with Sagamore Spirits Barrel Selects. 
this this specific barrel, uh, and I've tried a couple of other ones. There's a there's a bar here in Denver called the Schoolhouse, and they do a lot with Sagamo spirits, and uh, they have a couple of different barrel selects, and every one of them is phenomenal. I had a flight going on there. They age a little bit differently. Uh, like I think I had a six and a seven year. This one here we have in the Whiskey Cove is six years old. Sagamore are out of Baltimore in Maryland. A lot of this stuff does come from MGP, I, I think. Uh, yes, yeah, it's Asian New Chard Oak Barrels distilled in Indiana, and then bottled by Sagamore Spirits. So you are getting, I think this is the mash bill, is the 95 rye. 95 rye, 5% malted barley is that mash bill for this. So this is going to be similar to like a lot of like the smoke wagon single barrels. However, you're not going to have to pay $120 for the smoke wagon picks which are like five, six years old, just get a Sagamore Spirit six years old and it's pretty much the same juice. However, what they do with this blend that Smoke Wagon might know, this is a little bit more herbal, maybe like some cardamom in there as well. Uh, it really comes through really nice. ABV on this is going to be 55% ABV or 110 proof. What I paid for this is around $55. You're not gonna find this everywhere. You might have to do a little bit of looking, but it's not something that's gonna be hidden away or allocated. It's just gonna be a store that gets a pick in. It's gonna be a really good pick because they always are, and then you'll be able to buy it for a reasonable price. So there's the Sagamo Spirit single barrel picks. Next up, and then jumping back to Bourbon, 1792 bottled in bond picks. So the, sing the single barrel bottled in bond picks are, are fantastic. They've won countless awards at the San Francisco and other Spirit Awards just because they are so good. And what I really like about Sazerac products specifically is when they release like a single barrel pick for a product that's not normally a single barrel. So think of stuff like the Eagle Rare, uh, the Buffalo Traces, which we may or may not see, uh, the 1792 uh, full proof, not my jam, but a lot of people like them. But then this bottled in bond is phenomenal. It's cherries, Italian cream, perfect wood backbone for days. They're not, this is probably going to be one of the more allocated. This is probably the second most allocated bottle on this list, if you like, and it's still not really that allocated. You can find a lot of these 1792 picks in Costco's. They seem to get a lot of them. And I think Sam's Club also get a lot of them as well. And then also some other liquor store. So if you are a member of those big warehouses, definitely make sure you're always checking the liquor aisle there. But what the single barrels of the bottled in bong was, they just offer something a little bit more unique. It's very similar to the regular palette, but I feel like it's just always a little bit better. I don't know if they age their single barrels a little bit longer, or they just have a better selection that they don't want to blend in with the other stuff. But these bottled in bong single barrels, for the price between four 40 and 60 dollars i'd like to pay 50 and less for these however you are probably creeping into this up to 60 dollars if you're somewhere a little bit more rural who maybe don't get much allocated or this sort of stuff there as well so that was 1792 bottled and bond single barrels and uh, now we're moving into wheated bourbon and that's because we have maker's mark single barrel picks really dig Maker's Mark single barrel picks on the Whiskey Cove. More specifically, I do really like the older single barrel picks. So yeah, it's this guy. This is the old label. So the difference between this label and this one was the toasted French mocha. So I really think that the toasted French mocha had something completely unique compared to this new series of the single barrel releases. These are phenomenal, but these older ones are just something a little bit special. So if you're still able to find these, as a reasonable cost. I think these are when they release like 50 to $60. Uh, these are probably a little bit more, but still under $70. And you're getting like the ABV on this is 54.8, and this one is 54.7. So they're always at right around the 54% mark. Excellent value for money. They're all pretty unique as well because of the stave selection. So they don't do single barrel picks. So I definitely need to uh, state that. So these aren't single barrels necessarily. So what they do is, yes, they do a single barrel pick, but how they make the different because let me digress a little bit more so makers mark don't they, they rotate their warehouses with their barrels so what they try to do is standardize all their flavorings as best they can throughout the whole barrels so if you were able to do multiple single barrel picks they would all taste the same so how they make them individual is that they add different staves to that so like this one has two baked american puree three french cuvee and so on and so forth so that stave selection is what makes that single barrel uniqueness if you like so for 50 to 
60 to 70 dollars definitely worth it and these makers mark picks are always phenomenal value for money so don't sleep on them it is a wheated bourbon so you're gonna get some of those wheater notes with it maybe that's cereal grassy notes if that's your thing so again great value for money great distillery don't sleep on makers mark single barrel picks and then staying with wheated bourbon that is the other allocated bourbon on this list, and that is the Weller Single Barrel Special Reserves. So this is actually a pretty hard ball to find. If you were just looking for the green label on its own, it still would be a hard ball to find. However, the single barrel versions make it that little bit more difficult. Uh, this one is barrel number 100, that's pretty cool. But uh, these, these, why these are hard to find? Yes, it's 45% AV, 100 proof. But like, what is the difference between this and then this one, this is on 48.5%, so it's just 3.5% ABV higher than the green one. But this is a single barrel pick, this is a single barrel pick. Yes, they probably pick in from a better selection of single barrels for this, but I've tasted this, this isn't great. This is, doesn't set the world on fire, this reminds me of this. I haven't cracked this single barrel yet, but my uh, deduction would be there won't be too much difference between these. I paid $29.99 for this, which is a phenomenal value for the Weller Green Label, that's right around where it should be. But for then the single barrel picks, I've had a bunch of these, I have a couple here down in the Whiskey Cove. They're pretty great value for money. If you think of the Weller series for a single barrel pick where people are chasing $500 for, which you can get for $30, you're gonna buy it so if you can find this hard allocated ball definitely pick it up for thirty dollars but we needed to have some allocated stuff on this list so i hope you can kind of humor me a little bit with this two balls left and let's get the obvious out of the way that is the buffalo tray single barrel it's probably the best single barrel on this list in terms of consistency and quality and value for money time and time and time and time and time and time again we've talked about buffalo tray single barrels on this channel constantly value for money is awesome and on point 25 to 30 dollars in most liquor stores findability here in colorado specifically i see multiple of these throughout the year it is not very hard for me to find these i know other states that will vary greatly however if you ever want to take a trip to somewhere in the summertime or you want to go skiing in the winter come through colorado hit me up on the old uh, email and then I will ask you or tell you you should join this Facebook group and we'll create a post for you and they'll have a bunch of people saying there's the Buffalo Trace single barrel pick here, it's here, it's here, it's here because they are pretty much everywhere here right now in Colorado and the uniqueness that again much like the 1792 Bald and Bond you get a lot of uniqueness between the single barrels but they, they do get the fundamentals of Buffalo Trace the vanilla, the waffle cone, uh, the oak and the caramels are all still there a recent a recent one I did or this one the Dave Co uh, 30 uh, Barrel 30, someone on the channel stated that it was very cinnamon forward. So that was a really interesting, unique take. Someone who had actually tried this whiskey. So yes, if you see a Buffalo Trace single barrel, you have to pick it up. Don't like paying more than $30. I don't think I've ever paid more than $30 for a Buffalo Trace single barrel. Long may that continue. Last bottle on this list uh, as a distillery in terms of these single barrels that they consistently knock out of the park. And that is Blue Note Duke Joint Whiskey. And that is their single barrel uncut and unfiltered. So this is a straight bourbon whiskey, 124 proof or 60.2% ABV. So I don't know if they've changed their single barrels lately, but this is a Tennessee distillery. However, these single barrels come from Kentucky. This is distilled in Kentucky and then bottled by Bulu Note, Memphis, Tennessee. We think that it comes from Green River or somewhere else, yeah, maybe like Barton. Uh, I wasn't able to find that specific information, but these uncut and unfiltered picks are phenomenal. They've slowly started to die off, which is why I definitely wanted to include it on this list because you can still find them specifically if you can get the ones that are 60 percent abv and above those ones are something really special and those who have tried this whiskey can attest to the quality that are in these single barrel products i've ha i've had three or four of these and none of them have been bad they were a lot popular like during covid time you could find them in a lot of different places however they've kind of dwindled a little bit there so definitely don't sleep on them price is going to be about 40 to 50 dollars if you can still find them which is pretty good value for money i know the play of one or two places here in colorado who have these right now that i can get at any time one is total beverage and i think they also have 
have some in Dave Kong. So definitely go and check out those stores if you're a Colorado native. But again, $40 to $50, excellent value for money for a cast strength Kentucky bourbon. So those are eight whiskeys or single barrels that the distilleries keep knocking it out of the park time and time again. That if you ever get the opportunity to be presented and be able to buy one of those, you should definitely buy one because you will not be disappointed that you've spent your hard-earned money on those. So hopefully you've enjoyed today's video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for joining us here at the Whiskey Cove as we drink through the world's whiskeys one glass at a time. Cheers.